Nike. We got to stop this. We got to stop this. What's going on, my good people? It's your big homie Linda coming back again with another video, man. If this is your first time to the channel, go ahead and smash that like button for your boy. And subscribe to the channel if you want any tips, advice, or reviews on anything sneaker related. Now, for all my returning subscribers, man, I know y'all been wondering where I've been at, man. Your boy got COVID. I done came in contact with somebody that got COVID that gave it to me. No, I've been staying out the way. Trying to feel better, man. I feel better than I was a couple days ago, but it is what it is, man. I ain't looking for no pity party, you know what I'm saying? But when I come out this thing, while I turn it up on y'all, man, I ain't letting up on nobody. I promise you that. But anyway, man, my return subscribers, you already know how I like to do it. I don't like to take too much of y'all time, so let's go ahead and dive inside this video. Today, I want to touch bases on the issue, man, that been happening throughout the sneaker community, man, and that's Nike and they shipping process. Now, with FedEx being one of their carriers, man, I don't have no expectation for FedEx. They trash, they suck. I mean, they hire a lot of thieves. We gonna get into that, we gonna get into that. But one of my biggest issues, man, I mean, this this just still a tape. If you haven't been in the sneaker game for a while, man, you hear somebody talk about the just still a tape, it's this black tape that say just do it. Everybody know what's in this box. Ain't nobody slow. Everybody know the release that came out a couple days before this box gets shipped out. So nine times out of 10, the shoe that you looking for gonna be in this box. But truth be told, man, that's not the box that a lot of people complaining about. The one they complaining about is this new box that they have. This, 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 I don't even know what to call it, it's trash. I kid you not, man, this package was dropped off at my door just like this. I cannot make this up, man. I cannot make this up. Now I know Nike been trying to save money, man, by using this recycled material box. But, who really suffering from this? I mean, it might be doing good for y'all, but like, your customers is really suffering. Like, like we can't, we can't, look at my box, man. Now, I understand, man. It, it, people that took out the PPP and be doing all the scamming and doing all that crap like that, I know your money running low. Everybody know their money running low, man, so they looking for the next come up. And it's sneakers. So, with that being said, man, we know the Travis Scott came out probably a couple weeks ago. We know that a lot of people been getting exclusive access to the off-white dunks. All that means it bread, man. Like, like people looking for the next come up and Nike, y'all, y'all making it too easy for him. Y'all, y'all making it too easy for him. I actually talked to a FedEx driver, man. He actually sent me a video explaining why a lot of y'all shoes are getting stolen. He says really not the FedEx driver fault in a way, but at the same time, man, you put your hands on something that don't belong to yours. It is your fault, man. So, but I'ma let y'all see that video in a second, man. But I'm finna go ahead and talk about this other part. And now I apologize, man. This video going in circles, man. My head is killing me. I ain't feeling good. I already told y'all, man. I got COVID, man. So, but COVID don't stop no show. You feel me? So I'm trying to put out something for y'all. But anyway, this package actually came for UPS, man. Me personally, I never had trouble with UPS, but every time I have a package sent to FedEx, it don't matter if it's Nike, Adidas, um, just order some bull crap offline, man. I mean, it's always an issue with FedEx. Always an issue with FedEx. So, I wouldn't even have no doubt that FedEx is stealing packages, man, so. Uh, just a little pickup I got today. But yeah, man, he probably, for everything, man, he probably peeked in the back. And it went all white of Travis Scott's because it looked like he, you know, it looked like he did a little peek and see with the wool. And he probably couldn't recognize the box, so he ain't take it. I shouldn't be saying that, man. You can't, you can't always think the worst of people, but this day and age, man, you never know, bro. You never know. This is the Nike Dunk 1985 High. I might do a little review on this shoe, man. I'm not sure. Let's see what it look like in first hand. This is not my size, man. I just, 
I just ordered on my ass too. He's pretty straight though. Yeah, man, these ain't my size, man. These are size nine, man. If you actually want to purchase this pair, go ahead and hit me up on my IG at bighomie underscore Leonard. We can work out a little deal, man. I can give them to you, man, because I really don't want these. I care less about them. They, they are dope, though. These dope. These dope. My bad, y'all. My bad. But yeah, man, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all see this little clip of this FedEx driver, man, explaining to y'all what's really going on inside the trucks. And y'all can determine whether it's Nike fault or whether it's FedEx fault, man. Who to blame? I mean, I know a lot of people pissed off about it, man. I know Nike refunded people their money back, but at the same time, like the Travis Scott fence, that's a pretty hefty bag to be made after, off that shoe, you feel me? So... A lot of people don't want their money back, man. They actually want their shoes so they can go and say and make it do what it do, you feel me? You don't know what's going on and nobody lie, man. Somebody might be hurt for that money. Actually hit on the shoe, man, and that was a blessing for them, you feel me? But now it's a blessing for Fetty. <laughs> but yeah, man, check this man out, man, and see what's going on inside the FedEx truck, man. Y'all leave in the comments and tell me what y'all think is Nike fault or FedEx fault, man. I I gotta take me some meds to get up out of here. But anyway, man, I might not see y'all after he finished talking. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, man. Subscribe to the channel once again, man. Follow me at Big Homie underscore Leonard. Check it out, man. I'm gonna make this video for y'all short and sweet because a lot of y'all people blame FedEx for y'all shoes being damaged and stuff like that. I had already fixed the box when I came in, but first off, Nike said these boxes are cheap as hell for one. So when they come down the belt line, most of the time this stuff pops out. So I just re-stripped and re-glued this down because they had a strip on the inside that, from the factory, they didn't take the damn thing off the seat of the box, so, so the box was open, all the way open. The damn shoe was all in the back, just everywhere, but anyway. This is how it used to start. It used to be like this, so a motherfucker can see all the way in the ballistic. It's not your FedEx driver. So, me being a caring FedEx driver, what I do is, well, first off, fix the box, tape the box up. Sometimes this really, in this case, it ain't gonna really make a difference because damn box are already messed up. But, <coughs> this right here may be just to do us some justice. So, you don't have to worry about that. That's it. And your box is not gonna be perfect, so understand it's not your FedEx box. It's these damn people sending these cheap ass boxes. To y'all house. 